Afghanistan has occupied much of the news media during the time of the publishing of this video. Yet very seldom are we told anything of real substance about the place and people. Who are they? What languages do they speak? What are the ancient origins and myths? We will not be looking into recent sensational news headlines, but the origins of the people and culture of the region, its ancient roots, and connections which may come as a surprise to some. Just who are the Afghans? Hi friends, I'm Kevin McLean. Please click the like, subscribe, and if you'd like to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon page, which I update regularly, or you can donate through PayPal. Much thanks to all of my great supporters. The name Afghan is derived from the Iranian Bactrian language, meaning the distant people. The Stan in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, etc. comes likewise from Old Persian, Astan, referring to a place from the same Indo-European root as the English word stand, so that Afghanistan means the place of the Afghan people. In Afghanistan itself, the term Afghan is generally applied to the Pashtun people and language who speak an Iranian language not mutually intelligible with modern Persian. Nearly half of the Afghan people belong to the Pashtun group and about an equal number to Tajiks and others, many of whom speak Dari, which is just a local name for Farsi, the modern Persian language spoken in Iran and Tajikistan, although with slightly different pronunciations. The languages are key to understanding the ancient history of the region. They are of Indo-European origin, sharing the same roots as English, German, Gaelic, Italian, Russian, and other major European languages. How and when exactly the people who spoke Indo-European arrived in the region of Afghanistan is still a debated topic, but there is evidence both genetic and contained within mythology which suggests that their origins may have been with the Corded Ware culture. The most prevalent Y haplogroup amongst the Afghan population is R1A. This haplogroup is most common in Central and Eastern Europe, especially strong amongst Slavic populations from Poland and through into Russia, though especially Western Russia. This region generally corresponds to the Neolithic Corded Ware culture, where ancient R1A samples have also been found in high concentrations, especially in the period of the late Corded Ware. It's nearly certain that the population group which would go on to establish the Indo-Iranian languages were originally part of this European ethnic group that migrated east, occupying the region north and east of the Caspian Sea, and then expanded southward into modern Afghanistan, Iran, Pakistan, and India. The northern section of this group was generally identified as Scythians or Saka, while those who moved south became known as Aryans or Iranians. Within the modern DNA of Iranian-speaking Tajik and the Pashtun people of Afghanistan, there is still to be found European genetic traits, and they have a similar percentage of steppe ancestry as those in Western Europe. Sometimes people from the region will have blue, green, or hazel eyes, and they also possess the genes for red and blonde hair, things derived from their European ancestry. Now this isn't to say that they are genetically identical to modern Europeans. They have absorbed elements of the pre-existing population, and there has been other admixtures over time. But many of their male ancestors share a common origin with those in other parts of Western and Eastern Europe and they likewise carried the language and religious traditions into the region. Out of all the places in Central Asia, it is Afghanistan and the surrounding mountainous regions which appears to most strongly preserve this genetic legacy.